Have you ever heard of the fairy tale, only God can judge me? You can't judge me, only God can judge me? Did you know that's only a fairy tale? I'll show you why. First off, like Jesus said, if you know you are sinning and you do it anyway, you are worse sinner than you are if you sin and you never knew about sinning in the first place. With that said, women, listen up very closely to what I have to tell you. The 10% that listen to my channel. You say only God can judge you. Wrong. What does God say about judgment? He says very clearly, man answers to God, woman answers to man. Do you understand that? Men answer to God, women answer to men. So how do you explain it when you say that men cannot judge you? Men have full legal authority by the Almighty Himself to judge your sorry ass. He does. It's in the Bible, you freak shows. You nut jobs. You social warrior fags. It is written in the Bible. Man answers to God. Woman answers to man. He also states very clearly that neither man nor woman has independence from one or another. What we have today is feminists saying, I'm independent, right? That goes completely against God's will. That goes completely against the Bible. Then will you freaks out there understand that everything that the feminist movement does is completely against the Bible? They are only out there to fuck over the Bible. They're not trying to fuck men. They're not trying to fuck anybody else besides the Bible. That's all they're after. It's to destroy the Bible. To destroy society. To destroy the moral output out there. Who do you think gave you morals in the first place? Do you really think that your stupid evolution gave them to you? That you would know right from wrong? Good from bad? Do you really think that's just evolution? Give me a break. Woman answers to man. Man answers to God. Very clear in the Bible. Very easy to read. Go read the fucking Bible yourself. Do your own damn homework. So, now, you as a guy have two choices. When a woman comes up to you and says, you can't judge me. Only God can judge me. You can either call upon the Lord right there to smite her down right away, which won't happen because he gives everybody the uh, freedom of will, freedom of choice, but you can also curse the bitch for denying you and denying the Lord in front of him. What am I mean by curse the bitch? Well, you can just curse her life to lose her job, get pregnant, lose the father. You can put all these curses on top of a person. That's the beauty of being a follower of God. You can curse other people. I've seen it happen many times. I have seen it many times. I, even when I was at work and I got sick of this bitch working out with me at work. I asked God to make her pregnant so she would get the fuck out of the company. Guess what? Two months later, she's pregnant. Woo-hoo! Bye-bye. God works great, man. God works miracles. If you live in the light of God and you go around telling everybody else simply how it's supposed to be, you will live in the light. And people will call you self-righteous for that. They'll say that you're a righteous ass for that. No, what you are doing is you are following the law of order. You are following the law of God. You are following the law of the Almighty. You are following the law of the Creator. If you follow the law, you will be inside of His good light. And when you're in His light, you will be able to do amazing things. He even tells you don't judge with your words. There's a reason for that, because you actually do put curses on other people when you speak. Even God cursed Satan inside of the paradise, inside of the Garden of Eden. Cursing is not what you see on TV with voodoo dolls and all that horse shit. A genuine curse, really a genuine curse, okay, comes from Christianity. Not only did God curse the serpent in the Garden of Eden, but if you go look in the ancient Hebrew language, what Allah means, Allah means, translated to English, curse. For Allah was the one that was cursed in the Garden of Eden when he tempted Eve to eat the apple. And I know you all don't even understand yet that Allah is Satan. And I know you don't understand that half the world believes in Satan, the other half of the world believes in God, and there is an internal struggle going on there. And Jerusalem is the prize. It is the crown jewel. Israel is the crown jewel. It's called Jesus' inheritance. 
I love how everybody's going to be pissed off at me later on in this video when I read the comments later on. Guess what? Screw you, okay? I'm proud to be a person that walks in God's light. I'm proud to be somebody who follows his law. I don't obey every rule because I'm human. And I'll pay for that later on. I'll be judged for that later on. But I also know that Christ forgave my sins already. So when I do curse at people, when I do put them in their place, when I do educate the crap out of them, and if Jesus doesn't like that, he's already died on the cross to forgive my sins in the first place. So I am literally out there, no holds barred, coming to men's faces, coming up into women's faces and saying, you're a harlot, you're a bastard, and I don't fear you. And I will put it right in your face every fucking time, and I don't care what kind of consequences you bring onto me, because my Lord will protect me in any ways. That's how God works. You are brought here onto this planet as sheep amongst wolves. Do you really think that God would just let his sheep be massacred by the wolves? He protects the sheep with the giant force field. Wake up. This is the world you live in. See you all later.